Ladies and gentlemen, this brings us to our main event of the evening and the final of the King of Sparta Featherweight Division Tournament. Out of the red corner, Nick Montez. And alive comes the crowd. Now, how much does he have in the tank? Because he's been a warrior in both of his fights, man. He really has, but with that having been said, he never looked gas, never looked weathered, no. never looked uh, like he was going to have a hard time continuing the pace that he had already kept. And obviously, got to be a, a big adrenaline rush here, knowing that you've made it this far. And the only thing I noticed a little bit, JR, is I thought he was favored his right leg a little bit at the end of that last fight. Be interesting to see if that's an injury or something that does come into play. Well, you're going to hear this place go nuts because all of his fans are up against it. <laughs> they all got front row seats for this. Standing room up against the barricade. Yes, indeed. And what a thrill that must be for Mr. Montez to have that kind of support here. The number one seed. Do you see that little gate? Don't notice any swelling or lumps or anything, so we'll see. Out of the blue corner, Lorenzo Trevino. The one seed and the six seed. Trevino, all night long, we've talked about the speed that he possesses. He's gonna have a little, little uh, length, little reach advantage here, but that has not mattered in the previous fights for Montez. Both these guys look very solid in their striking, so see uh, if the ground game comes into play, how skilled these two fighters are on the mat. Our first MMA match of the night. We never go that long. <laughs> And there is the sixth seed, Lorenzo Trevino. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your main event of the evening. This fight is brought to you by Sparta Sports and Entertainment, Sparta Coffee, Wake up with a cup of fuck it juice. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Sparta! Fighting out of the red corner with Genesis and 303 Training Center from Denver, Colorado, the Mile High Maniac, Nick Martin. Good gym. Yes, indeed. Fighting out of the blue corner with Indy boxing and grappling out of Marion, Indiana. Pretty boy, so Lorenzo Travino. I wonder if he can play golf. <laughs> Fighters, this is 
the tournament fighter, finals for the King of Sparta. Protect yourselves at all times and obey my commands at all times. I expect a clean, fair fight. Touch gloves if you'd like now. MMA action here for the finals. Punchy, kicky, chokey time. King of Sparta, featherweight finals. Trevino speed, Montez, animalistic. Boy, both these guys going in. Montez going in for the takedown. Great block. Yeah, nice defense by Trevino. Uh oh. Montez doing a good job staying committed to that takedown. Had to push his opponent about three quarters of the way across the yeah. cage. Trevino still got that head locked in, Has but his hands clasped in on the deep single. Switches sides. Got it back for the takedown. Look at Trevino scramble. Good scramble by Trevino to come back to standing. Montez relentless in his takedown yeah. attack, however. And Trevino, good takedown defense, but Montez right now Montez. having the best of it. Montez trying to wrap up the legs, keep Trevino from being able to scramble back to standing, but Trevino, tripods, almost got himself back up. Good back control by Montez. Yeah, Montez doing a great job. Trevino was very close to getting up and out of there. Nice job with the chest pressure by Montez. Oh, those big knees. Beautiful strike. Oh, oh Kimura. Kimura. You better watch that Kimura. Good job attaining guard there for Trevino. Montez, I was going to say, going to try to sit down on that hip. There he goes. Oh, there you oh. got to. Oh, boy, you almost had that. That Camaro's dangerous. Yeah, good work by Trevino. Staying with it, making some adjustments. Montez looks very calm, though. Yeah, he does. But right now, you're going to be getting a point where he's looking at a corner. You're in a danger scene here. Don't know if he's quite got it. He just got it, got it, out, got it out. out. Yep. Nice job by Montez evading the submission attempt. And again, showing off his wrestling prowess, does Montez. Great job getting out of that. Less than a minute to go. Again, amateurs, no elbows to the face. But you get shots like that. Montez looking down. to pass guard. Good job by Trevino. Get back Escaping. up to a base. Yep. Getting Trevino's his trying to get a takedown. Nicely done by Trevino. Boy, he does good work in the scrambles. 32 seconds left in this opening round. Trevino goes right back down to the single leg and he gets it. Gets the nice ankle pick, does Trevino. Man. And immediately looking to attain guard is Trevino. And immediately looking to pass is Montez. Nice work by both fighters here. Yeah, you see the display, a great job. Trevino doing a great job. We're going to get treated to a second round. Really getting, I really had trouble maintaining control and, and getting control. But once Montez got it, got two, three takedowns in that round. Yeah. And he got out of that Kimura. And heavy top control. Couple of good knee strikes landed for Montez. The other thing with that Kimura, you can hang on to that thing too, so long, and it can really, it, it can really wear you out. Yeah, you can burn up a lot of energy trying to hunt for a submission. I mean, that's a skill in and of itself is knowing when to let it go and not waste any more time with it. Good forearm came down there for Montez. Making it hard to breathe, smothering him. Yeah, really nice wrestling by Montez in round number one. We'd seen the striking prowess of both these fighters, and nice to see how well-rounded they are. Neither one of them afraid about engaging on the ground. You saw even Trevino as, uh, as he came up from one scramble, started hunting for a takedown of his own. So yep. obviously wasn't afraid of being back on the mat. Oh, uh, Trevino. Montez coming out, swinging big. Both Hard these guys shots, are swinging big. Trevino answers with that trademark speed. Trevino's trying to get him in a, he's got a good sprawl. Uh, I missed it. He's trying to go for that arm and neck, but 
Yeah, tried to lock up the Dars choke there Couldn't and do missed it. it. He's making a mistake. He can't make a mistake against this guy. Montez, good job trying to Big go to mount. Big lefts. But Torino just working beautifully in the scrambles. And he's scoring right now, scoring big time up against the fence. Montez just doesn't run out of energy. Nice job of keeping the pressure while he's doing his striking. A lot of fighters will try to rear up and they unweight themselves a lot of their opponent's chance to scramble. He's Montez that, not doing that. He's getting that hip pressure on, trying to see if he can sneak that choke in. And when he loses hip control, he goes to a very nice chest pressure. You see that right here? Has his chest against his opponent's shoulders, yep. not allowing him to rise his head above the level of his opponent. Now he's almost, he's trying to get into full mount. Now he is. And well done by Montez. Full mount, now you gotta start the hammer fists. Gonna go to work with some ground and pound. Scramble by Trevino. Yeah, Trevino We've getting seen up him and get out of there. up a number of times. Escaped the position, but still on the ground. Couldn't quite bring it back to standing. Tell you what, the gas tank that Montez has on him. Trying to sink in the choke. choke now. Starting to thread that arm through. Trevino that might be turning, deep enough. but... Refer referee right down there too taking high. a look it's at too it. High. Oh, and he takes a big shot. Trevino took a big left. He's taking big lefts right there. Took another one. Took like three in a row. Nice job with the submission defense by Trevino, but as you alluded to, he's Todd, getting beat up. He's eating some hard shots. Yeah. Yeah, it really has become to the point where he's just starting to get beat yeah. up a bit. 45 seconds left. I don't know if he's going to make that round because he's. That might be in a little deeper, but I don't know if the Montez is in the situation, in the right position. Up against the cage, it shuts down some of his mobility, takes away some of the positioning that he wants to attain in order to come all the way behind. Well, I'll tell you what, Trevino's tough as they come, jeez. Yeah, talk about the no quit. Montez is all over him like a cheap suit, and Trevino refuses to quit. Able to get full guard back. Hammer fist. Wow, from back control all the way Hammer back to full again. guard. Looking to lock up the triangle, missed with it. Montez just gonna end the round with some more hard shots. We're wow. going to a third. And Trevino gets up like nothing happened. Trevino is tough. His coach is not happy with him. <laughs> what are you yelling at me after I took that beating? <laughs> Well, if you're a Montez's corner, you really can't ask for much more out of no. your fighter. No. Except for don't get into a bad position. <laughs> right. Wow. Here on the replay, it was just great, great ground control by Montez. Trevino able to get up a couple times in round two. I, Here in the third, Montez, once he put him down, he was able to maintain ground control. Yeah, I thought Montez was going to end it there. But Trevino's proven to be tough. Cage doors locked. Third and final round. Somebody's going home a new champion. Oh, Trevino swinging hard. Yeah, Trevino, and what does Montez do? He's going to cut that distance down. He knows where his advantage is. That's on the canvas. Yeah, when Trevino missed, that was the opportunity Montez wanted to close in and able to do so, hunting uh, for the single now. Got still with the energy that they have at the third fight of the night. Montez trying to reach through for a far side ankle pick. Really Good job leaning. defending that by Trevino. Trevino needs to slide out that backside. Switching up his base, takedown attack. But he's just tired. Yeah. Montez able to get the hands together while he was under the hips. That was all he needed to put this back on the mat. And yeah. You know, uh, you know he's got the conditioning to keep going here. Montez not going to put it on the mat and then take a rest. When Montez just has the energy to keep on going, look for those hammer fists. Trevino trying for the head and arm from the bottom. 
Very difficult submission to get. Yeah, and he's he's wearing out too, JR. Montez looking to set up a crucifix position here. Trevino has his right arm trapped underneath the knee of Montez, able to get it back now. Buck 35 left in this fight. I mean, Trevino's beat right now, and he's not able to breathe. Montez is just taking the gas out of him. Yeah, Trevino really relegated to trying to... Uh, Survive? Yeah, just damage control, really, just because Montez's ground control so good. Trevino not able to mount any offense. There comes the raining punches. There's a left. Going to the ribs, too. Beautiful job with his defense by Trevino, but that's not what win fights. Now he's looking to lock up the armbar. Good job swiveling the hips by yep. Trevino. Needed, needed to go a little bit further. Yeah, Montez wise to it, circles with him, and comes down with a clubbing right hand, and again. Really, there's been only one time he's been in trouble in this fight at all. Yeah, that was that Kimura submission yep. attempt, and. Again, Trevino escapes momentarily, but not enough to be able to get to his feet. Trevino's relentless, man. Trevino, uh, Montez. Montez relentless. Trevino's like a rag doll right yeah. now. Yeah, Montez just keeps with it, unrelenting with his attack. 20 seconds left in this fight, it's been dominant. Well, for as good as Montez looked with the boxing and even better with the kickboxing, Wow, look at him go on the ground. Look at him go for the last 10 seconds, both these guys. Trevino again, back on defense. That's going to be it. Wow. I'll tell you what. What an amazing pace to that fight. Man, I'll tell you what, Trevino can go home to Indiana and be proud of himself, but he's not going to be the king of Sparta. Yeah, that was a good performance by Trevino, but like you said, Montez just seemingly unstoppable in there this evening. I mean, he he did everything well. He boxed well. He kickboxed well. He did MMA perhaps the, even the better. I agree. That was probably his best showing in the whole tournament was his MMA rounds. We're seeing that positional dominance here on the replay. Just able to posture up, keep the pressure down. Always knew what his opponent was going to try to throw up by way of uh, offense attacks, able to defend against it and keep the fight where he wanted. Heck of a scrap. Here's a decision. All right, one more time, Josh Stewart. Ladies and gentlemen, after a massive night of battling, we go to the judges' scorecards. All three judges score this bout 30-27 in favor of our winner by unanimous decision and the new elimination king of Sparta, Featherweight champion, the Mile High Maniac, Nick Montez! Congratulations, Nick Montez keeps the Featherweight King of Sparta amateur title here in Colorado. Well done, sir. Yeah, he did, dominated every facet of that, JR. Really, everything from boxing to kickboxing, then to MMA. He was brilliant all night. For Todd Romero, I am J.R. Gordon. Thank you for having joined us here at King of Sparta. Fight fans, check us out again next Saturday on pay-per-view where we're going to have yet another tournament. We appreciate you having been with us this evening. Good night. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with your new King of Sparta Elimination Featherweight Champion, Nick. You battled all night. You had three different things to go through. You were like a honey badger in every single one of them. What was your plan for all of this? I just came in here to run through the competition, you know, keep the pressure all day. 
and keep that range. And just bring the fight to them. No, ain't nothing more than a plan like that. Everybody got a plan. So you get punched in the face. All right. So your plan, you're bringing the fight to them. You need to do it, and you need to do it for both boxing, kickboxing, and MMA. How are you switching and training for each one of those disciplines? Let me tell you what, y'all done playing MMA, and y'all want to actually live this shit. Come in up Genesis and 303 Training Center. We'll get you right, baby. Get you one of these. What is next for you with all of this? I mean, you just ran through a massive competition with these guys. You were ranked number one at the top. You went through, showed that you were number one. What is the next thing that you want to do? We're going to go back to the drawing board. You know, talk to my coaches, talk to my team. We're going to figure out what's next for me. See if anybody wants to fight me. I'm going to go pro, baby. All right. You've laid the challenge. The challenge is now there if anyone wants to come at you with this. Are you open to any of those challenges? Are you gonna turn something down? Or are you gonna pick? I already got a few bums challenging me because they want to think that my name's all the hype. Well, let me tell you what, this ain't no hype. I'm here every day. I'm here till the end of it. You know where I'm at. He is here till the end. He is your new king of Sparta. Congratulations, Nick the Maniac. Montez!